I went out with friends tonight and I inconspicuously, if rather ingeniously, checked the soles of all of their boots. Well, I just kind of pulled their leg up and looked at it. They're all clear. We've yet to find you. Yep, there it is. I've used Bub, Big Ugly Brush, and I have squirted on, because this has a neat squirt container, some gesso, and I'm just going around with this and tucking it into various corners. I'm going to see if I can find anything here where I've missed. I see a little spot right in here. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stab this in here. Now, this is my first coat of gesso, so I'm not real, real worried. I can make another coat. <clears throat> I can make texture with the gesso in here. I've just stippled. That's stabbing straight at the canvas. I can make lines in it if I want to. Crisscross. As light as I want to go. I can do an overall straight design. I can etch it. Just use Bob's tail here. That's kind of cool. Think I'll just go with that. Think it needs anything else? Yeah, probably something right in here. Maybe over here. Let's take that on up a little bit. Ah, I'll just keep playing with this to see what I come up with. Thanks. Kind of like the texture represented in white just as it is. I'm going to play with it a while, see what I come up with. Thanks. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Just a word to the wise. Bub needs to be washed right away or else he gets cranky. You see, just so is water-based, it will dry quickly and it will freeze up like stone. In which case, we could call Bub, Bub, Uh, which would be Big Ugly Brush Axe, which I could use as a defensive weapon if need be. Okay, here's the deal. I needed to see if it's actually possible for a person to stand on this trash can. Here I go. Uh-oh. As you can see, I am standing on the trash can. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I cracked it a little bit. I'll lose some weight. Okay, here it is. No, wait, sorry. Pay no attention to the pork rinds. I swear, most people really don't do that around here. I've gessoed the piece and taken off some of the gesso so that the sole would still show through. Right now I'm thinking on colors. Nervous? Of course not. I'm here in my closet right now because I find it oddly comforting or, well, just odd. I was reading earlier today where some cultures believed that, oddly enough, a photograph of someone could steal their soul. Well, I found it interesting. And the word soul being spelled S-O-U-L is, of course, different from S-O-L-E, which is what I have here. But maybe I stole their souls. <laughs> It's always bothered me when people blame today's problems in the world on today's use. I mean, the world such as it is, if it is a problem at all, is more than likely the fault of people my age. What does concern me is that if there were anyone outside on the trash can and they were of the useful variety, they may have gotten a sad, sad misconception of the female form. Just in case, I do need to inform you that usually those things are not around a female's knees. I just thought you needed to know. It's 5 p.m. and I just want to let you know what it sounds like around here every day at noon, 5, 6, and on special occasions. I live center of three churches. <laughs> Listen up. I'm thinking about growing a hump so that I can ring the bells myself. <laughs> Yep. 
Here they go. Cheery if somewhat ominous. They've gone at it again. Let's just have a seat. I am absolutely convinced that there is no relationship whatsoever between the trash can incident and the fact that I live dead center between three churches. What concerns me most is that the person who may or may not have been on the trash can might need serious help at this point. I mean, I've seen myself naked for years and the retinal damage alone is devastating. Not to mention the effects of gravity. Seriously, I am not afraid. Okay, stretch marks scare me a little bit, but other than that, I'm just fine. This is the finished piece. I wanted to send a sincere thank you to all my dearest and closest friends for all of the suggestions on what to do about our peeping Tom or gazing Gus. I'm afraid I don't know the politically correct term for this. Anyway, many of their suggestions, while from the heart, involve bodily harm and I'm not quite willing to go that far. Thanks anyway folks. Um, my thinking is that since this person did inspire me to complete this painting I owe them a sincere debt of gratitude. Therefore I'm thinking about going to one of those fancy restaurants like maybe McDonald's and getting a gift certificate and taping it to the trash can. <sighs> of course if I cut holes all over in that trash can... What? Yeah, you're right. I should stick to painting oil portraits. I want to thank everyone for joining me on this journey, and I'd like to invite you to join me on my website. It's tinajonesart.com. That's T-I-N-A-J-O-N-E-S-A-R-T dot com. It's been fun. Bye-bye. That's all I got.